Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with another dude fix my base series. I've been working on my dude. Uh, this base comes from Monkey, and his concerns were uh, mainly to deal with. Okay, first off, I've never seen someone use the Hydro Fan. It's so cute. I don't know how well it works, but it's pretty awesome. I think it's a terrible. It's terrible at cooling, but uh, it looks pretty nice. It looks like it's got all these different gases in it and oxygen. Poor Stinky's just sitting there cooling everything, though. I might disable this. Yeah, let's disable that. I don't think that thing's very effective. I think it removes... If you go under utilities, it removes... Let's see here. 80 DTU, which is like nothing. This thing, for instance, does... How much heat actually doesn't really say there. Maybe under refinement. Yeah, it gives out 16,000 DTU. So this thing's never going to keep up. So yeah, Monkey's main concern was keeping his oil refinery over here cool. And I can see a few problems with this area. Uh, first of all, we've got a leaky oil fissure down here. Which gives out oil at 300. Uh, sorry, it comes. The oil comes out at 326, 327 degrees Celsius, which is super warm. So I would actually cap this off with insulated tile. It's kind of insulated here. Uh, I would do an insulating wall here, uh, just to keep that heat out of there. Because there's lots of oil down here that we could be using. And there's more oil to the left and the right, so we'll use that. We also he has also, also has a slickster farm here, getting oil. So that's all working nicely. But the oil refinery itself, it is uh, oh, we got a broken tile here. Oh, the wire. There's some problems with the wires as well. Check this out. So the main circuit in the base has potential power consumed 6.88 kilowatts on a two kilowatt wire. So this wire is probably going to break often. We need to split up the circuits into multiple 2 kilowatt circuits, which is one thing I'll try to get done this episode. We could probably turn off the espresso machine because it's going to be using lots of power. If we look at vitals, uh, morale is pretty high. I'm surprised. The circuit's probably getting blown like all the time. Let's see what Power produced, power consumed, zero. Hmm. Not really sure what's going on there. Oh, we got a little more farm. I didn't even notice this when I was checking out the base. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to let's zoom out here. We got a big day going on up here for slime and stuff. Probably for mushrooms. I'm going to actually cancel that. We'll just do, we'll, we'll take care of what what he wanted me to take care of, which was cooling the oil. Uh, we got a nice cooling system over here for the oxygen. Nice oxygen setup here. Kind of a standard build I see a lot now. Maybe I'll even try it myself. It's kind of a filterless sorting system. Just uses the fact that ga gases can't op occupy more than one tile at once. Looks nice. It's coming through past the nullifier, getting nice and cool. Minus 35, really nice and cool. Actually, how cool is the base? I guess there's a lot of heat generation in the base, so it's kind of evening out. Nice little mushroom farm here. So the oil, the oil, the oil, the oil. Uh, everything is so cramped in here, I would probably want to open it up a bit. But one thing I noticed, he's got a polluted water vent down here that comes out at 30 degrees takes the water up it's going into the base it hits regular tiles here so it's warming up a bit and then it gets insulated again and it's coming around and it's going into a water sieve over here it's coming in at 27 and it's then turning into 40 degree water so what we could do is use that polluted water to cool 
the piping's a little bit crazy. To cool this area here, or to cool the whole area. Temperatures in here are... Oh wow, 113. Let's disable this just for now. Stop making... Speed things up. Stop making oil for now, or petroleum for now. We're gonna have to redo the whole wiring system because you can see it's just breaking everywhere. This should all be heavy watt wire on the on the heavy side of the transformer. This essentially is doing nothing. This transformer, because there's no. Uh, this should if this is going to be the power production room, this should all be heavy watt wire, and then that should lead off to multiple two kilowatt circuits. But right now, let's turn off the plastic making until we f sort out the grid. Do we fix the grid? We're gonna turn everything off. That's off. That's okay to be on. Petroleum generator. No research, that's fine. How's the research doing anyway? Everything but the space stuff, that's pretty common. Okay, we're gonna keep getting broken wires here, I think. Is that what that is? Oh, this is something different. What is this? The pipe is broken. Not sure why the pipe broke. There used to be a carbon skimmer here, I can tell, because there's a... Uh, there's the shadow of where it was. So the oil's coming in... <laughs> it's coming in with non-insulated tiles, so all the heat from the oil... Actually, this we could take this to our advantage as well. But I would probably insulate this because this is pretty hot. And then bring a polluted water line in. Jeez, do we have any plumbers? I might just rip this whole thing apart because it's just kind of crazy. Kind of hard to see what what's going on here. It's all crammed in there. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to completely redo this. We only have six stoops, though. Be a little bit. We only have one exosuit dock here. That's kind of another problem. Because we're only going to get one dupe in here doing stuff at a time. Hmm. A lot of stuff to do. We can't deconstruct these... Oh, we can deconstruct this door. I'm going to start deconstructing stuff. Just for my own sanity here. Rip this out. It's all crammed in there. Move this. Uh, it's going to take forever. We only have one dupe. And we got this crazy... I guess this is an airlock of some sort. Okay, this petroleum generator. Got a little bit of leakage there. Hopefully I didn't deconstruct any pipes. I don't think I did. Uh, Petroleum generator. I'm just going to rip it all apart. And then we'll redo it. Because the I can't tell what's going on here. <laughs> take take that out. We got natural gas in here from this oil refinery. Let's get all the orders queued up here. Got a. Room with hydrogen that's not really hooked up to anything. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to deconstruct the petroleum generator until we get the, all the petroleum out of the line here.
That's our... We'll deconstruct this. We got chlorine everywhere. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I probably won't rebuild it in here. Let's find a cooler spot. We could maybe make a nice orderly thing in here. Could put it down in the ice biome. Chlorine in here. Okay, where's all the petroleum? We got petroleum stuck in this line here. Yikes. Uh, deconstruct. Okay, I'm just gonna deconstruct it all. We gotta keep the coal, because that's what's running the whole base, I think. What is this pump doing? It's sending chlorine down. <laughs> Get rid of that. That's done with the chlorine. Having chlorine in the air is really bad for heat dissipation. Let's let's plug this geyser. That's pretty important at this point because that's just heat spilling in everywhere. We'll do that wall first and then we'll do this other wall. Go down in here, get rid of this pump. Yeah, plug that off, because that's just putting heat everywhere. Let's build a proper coal grid somewhere. Where can we stick it? Let's disable this for now. What do we got here? Got a nice, moderately cooled room here. We could do a power grid in here. That would actually work pretty nicely. We could do everything in here, or at least coal. And the dupes can actually get in here without exosuits. Nice, okay, so let's do this. Um, we'll do a granite floor, priority eight. We'll do it four high. I don't like crazy ladders like this. This is just, uh, just delays pathfinding and everything. So we'll do some floors in here. We'll do coal, we'll do a proper power grid, and we'll split up these power circuits. I'm gonna take on another dupe, why not? Noodle arms, narcoleptic, castrophobia, sure. Hopefully it's okay that we're taking on more. We got lots of food. No one's doing this. Oh, this is broken. Travaldo, you're... You shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> you, you go back inside. Travaldo's not allowed out. Oh, no one's allowed out. What the heck? Travaldo. Oh, I just made it so he can't get back. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Uh, we got two doors here with two permissions. We don't need this extra door. Let's just deconstruct it. There's no room bonus here, I don't think. Nope. Get rid of that door. Follow. Back you go. You're too slow to use an exosuit. Let's give you a go for job. Travaldo. Someone come to this door. This is probably broken from the power. Yeah. There we go. Get some work done. 
We're gonna go in there, we're gonna build that wall. That's reachable. Gotta take this pump out first. But we're like, why is he destroying my base? I just I need simplicity to be simplicity to be able to work. Oh, we just broke our coal. But we just cut power to everything. Actually, we got more coal generation up here. Okay, that's fine. We'll take this out. Deconstruct. Get rid of this airlock. Okay, well now we need a ladder to get down there. Actually, I think, let's see here. Are we able to build here? Let's build our ladder one over to be able to get down there. like that. Okay, get down there, build this wall, seal this puppy in. Is that just gonna get too hot? Another schedule. Fine. This transformer's not doing anything. Actually, there's power in it. It's actually powering this down here. So, but we can we can take it out. It's actually not doing any good here. Must destroy to rebuild. What's this pump doing? Nothing. Clean up some of these wires. Okay, now we can seal that in properly. What's this made out of? Igneous rock, good. Don't you trap yourself. Okay, that should cap that off. Keep that heat out of there. Let's get rid of this wire. Reclaim it. I think it's safe to go in here too. Let this out. So let them do all that. And then over here, we can get other dupes to build this out. These dupes don't need exosuits, so. 
Probably have to cool this. Uh, what's going on here? That's going... We'll look at that later. That's making me cross-eyed. <laughs> Okay, let's take these out. Yeah, the pathfinding is just brutal through s systems like this. And they're unnecessary. If you want to build vertically like this, you can do uh, they can dig two tiles on either side of a, of a ladder, so you don't need to build them this crazy. Put some mesh tile in here, just for airflow. Got lots of free meat in there. Got a nice little puffed arm in here. <laughs> Puffs and morbs, nice little symbiosis. So other than the power grid, so far I've only noticed the power grid and and the oil cooling was the only major problems. You could probably use this other nullifier that's just sitting here doing nothing to help cool things. No one's building this. I think if we build a path here instead... Actually, I like it like this. Okay, let's use granite's fine. Get a floor in there. Bit more airflow. And then let's redo our whole power setup. So, coal generator. We'll leave room for cooling. We'll do three coal generators. Heavy watt wire. Connect it to a smart battery, which will control whether they're on or off. Then on the subsequent levels, we could do natural gas power, we could do petroleum power. But we're going to need multiple transformers to power all this stuff. I might actually do four. Let's do four coal generators here. the smart battery way over there and then logic automation along here then we could take out this one I'm gonna disable these as well until the power grid is corrected because these are huge power users Okay, let's set all these to 100%, 100%. And priority eight. Set the battery to 50% ish. Some free food up here. I'm gonna set this to harvest. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, let's actually cook something with that. Do we have any pinch of pepper nut? No. So where's our cooking station? Do we have one? Yeah, right here. Fried mushrooms. Let's do frost buns for a while. Maybe leave that at priority six.
And then I'm going to do transformers off the heavy watt wire. I should have done them on the other side, actually. Let's redo this. <laughs> redo this one. Then they won't have to send as much wire. They won't have to build long wires. There's so much space on the map. We might as well space things out nicely. Okay, so our transformer will go... Let's see. Transformer, right? We'll turn this around. Heavy side on the right side. Hook that in there. And then heavy conductive wire we'll do straight up here. And then we'll have to split off the circuits a little bit. So we'll do another floor. This is one priority eight. I like leaving my floors, my floors four high. Look at them waste all their time go up these silly ladders. <laughs> so slow. Oh, they went all the way around. To get some granite. I I don't recommend you do this kind of thing. Build them a floor. They like it. Let's just build a build a proper floor so they can walk quickly and a proper ladder so they can walk quickly. And fire poles if you want them to come around even faster. In fact, we could go straight through here. That would be even faster. There we go, now we can cut straight through and not waste all that time. Makes a big difference. You'll, your dupes will get way more done. Okay, let's get this coal generator set up. That's all good. Maybe what wires go good. Okay, so that's hooked up. Now we'll have to split up these circuits. And I can take take this one out now. Let's go super speed through the night. Get some stuff done. Take out these ladders. Put in a floor. Deal with that. I probably trapped someone. I'm really good at that. Yep. They're good at it. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Okay, second transformer. Should have built a heavy joint plate here. 
Not a problem. Oops. Oh, jeez. Sometimes the game does that. Okay, let's go like this. I have to choose our other circuits here. So there's, let's see here. Where can we branch off? We can do a second line straight through here. Two kilowatt wire. We're getting low on metal here, but that'll go. That could be a line right there. And we can cut this one here. Until they build all build all that up. Okay. Okay, that's looking a bit better once they get this one done. No iron. Okay, let's use something else. Gold. Okay, I think a nice logical cut might be right here. Duct of wire, priority nine. There we go, at least we have two circuits. Unreachable build. Really? Really? What's wrong with there? Are they allowed in here? Hmm. Why is that unreachable? Oh, no power to the exosuits. Uh huh. Guess we'll, we'll let them go in there temporarily. What are the germs in there like? Not too bad. Let's just co cut open the wall. So we can build that quickly. Hopefully those puffs don't get out. They might. <laughs> what are they doing? Hurry up, dupes. Finish that wire. Okay. Seal the breach. Okay, now our wiring is three kilowatt potential and 3.4. At least it's split half half. We, we need another transformer. Oh, I probably don't have enough beds for everyone. Oops. One dupe doesn't have a bedroom. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't really plan for that. Let's make a bedroom in, in here. <laughs> it's a room that's not being used. Okay. 
At least I'll have a place to sleep. Uh, mess tables. We only have six mess tables. Need a great haul for that dupe as well. I'm gonna take out the coffee machine just because it's a big power hog. And add a few mess tables here. Okay, so that's all dismantled. Pretty much. Empty pipes. I don't know if we have a plumber or not. This takes them a long time to get through. This airlock. <laughs> I'd use a water lock here instead. Okay. Power grid is better, but not perfect. Uh, I'd want to have potential power consumed under two for each of these. But. This probably isn't used a lot. A lot of stuff is probably not used a lot. We have this nice 30 degree uh, polluted water though, which we could use to cool stuff. So we, before we sieve it, I'm going to bring it down like this. So we don't have a whole lot of refined metal for this. Uh, what if we could use we could use a wolframite pipe but radiant pipe's way better we just don't have a lot of it we have to refine some more metal we do have a rock crusher here let's do we got lots of gold we'll do continuous on that for a while On one more dupe. Gourmet, I've never seen this. Food benefit minus one. Flatulent, no. A constructive, no. Irritable valve, sure. Gourmet. Small hands, yeah, that looks okay. Need one more bed. Do we have another mystery bed somewhere that I missed? Maybe. We got two sieves here. We got a sieve here. This is for bathrooms. Water line comes in. Fluid comes out. Goes in there. Comes around. We have a lot of bathrooms. Jeez. We got personal bath bathrooms. We got. These bathrooms. Look at them waste their time. Going in circles. For the slime. Uh, <laughs> okay, oil refinery. Let's do that. We need another floor here. One, two, three, four. This will need a water lock because it's gonna have been there's gonna be natural gas in here. But the idea for cooling will be use this polluted water that's at 30, pass it over the power grid. Pass it over the oil refinery. Probably bring it up to like 80, 90 degrees and then sieve it. And then all that heat gets destroyed once it gets sieved here.
and we'll do a liquid lock right down here. Gee, the CO2 will have to fall around the side, but that's okay. Probably leave this for natural gas power. Let's do another floor here. Let's just do it all properly. Got some free water in here we could be using eventually. Oh, I forgot to give that dupe a job. Let's give them the gopher job. Aida. Travaldo, you're promoted. Nisbet, let's get you doing something else. Let's do exosuit engineer. Oh, this is kind of not good right here. Can't deconstruct that. <laughs> okay, so liquid lock around here. Petroleum generator here. Or, yeah, refinement here. Let's rough this out. Refinement, petroleum, oil refinery. Let's stick it near this end. That way they don't have to run as far. Natural gas will build up in here. Actually, that might be, that might be too close, actually. Let's just see here. Yeah, I need room for my liquid lock, so we'll take that off. I like how you get all the materials back in this game. It's kind of nice. I need to destroy stuff. Okay, liquid lock. We're gonna do it. Boom, boom, boom. That doesn't look very right. <laughs> oh, I can't draw today. There we go. That'll be the bottom. And then like that. Yeah. I've done that right, and then we need some bottle of deers. And really, they should use exosuits in here because it's all natural gas and stuff. We'll leave room for an exosuit dock. Really, it should have been on the other end. We, we could put exosuit docks up here or something. Some cooling in here. So let's put that oil refinery in. We could do plastic in here as well. And for the liquid lock, I'll use. I'll just use water, I guess. I don't think it'll get so hot that it'll boil. It'll, it'll be bad. Enable auto bottle. We could use heavy wet wire for this, so what I'll do is poke a hole in here. 
Do a heavy work joint plate. Use the main grid for our big power tasks. I won't hook this up just yet. Get the liquid lock in. I'll bring a I'll bring a regular igneous rock pipe down. We can improve this later, but for now we'll just bring it down here. Down to here, and then we're gonna use radiant pipe across this. And you could build this radiator bigger to keep this area cool. Uh, I'm gonna get in the way of all the piping here. Hmm. Gotta leave room for the other stuff to come in. So then we'll switch back to regular pipe, actually insulated after the heating with igneous rock, come back out here. And then we'll tie in uh, right here. You can take out this intermediate pipe here after it's all done. So that tiny cooling loop will keep this area a little bit cool. You can extend, make the radiator bigger. I also like to put a little bit of water on the floor. So we'll do a little, put a little lip here and then do a temp shift plate made out of ice. Here, that'll melt, cool this area down. Now we need oil here as well, so we gotta bring the oil over from way over here. That's gonna be a very long pipe. Uh, maybe we could cut through here. We already have a little passageway here. Let's go through here. We've already got chlorine all over the place, so we'll just cut this open. We gotta make sure the dupes don't go through that door actually, once we open this up. And since this is like a main artery that they use a lot, I'm gonna make this uh, an actual floor. And then we'll get that oil pipe going. It needs to be insulated though, because it's hot oil. Come across like this, insulated igneous rock in there, and then we'll head over this way. Got to build a floor here first. Eventually we'll need a pump at the bottom for all the CO2 that's building up, but not for quite some time. Do we have any Wii Sports? We have one. Let's stick one Wii Sport in. Unreachable dig. Yeah, they gotta build this first. Okay. Now, we're not getting the advantage of this polluted vent because it's all backed up because it's underwater. 
I would actually do a few holding tanks in here. So that this can... Because this will go dormant sometimes, and then we're not getting all the water out of it. So I'd probably put some holding tanks. Maybe up in here. Let's do that. Uh, liquid reservoir. Let's use gold just in case. Uh, I gotta take out some of this stuff here. Liquid reservoir. Priority eight. Let's do. Six. Branch off here. That way the geyser can go full bore and not get we're not we're getting all the water we can't we can get out of it. Do a bridge here. Go, dupes, go. Okay, we got our liquid lock. We got how much in there now? Bottom tile 999, top tile 133. That's good enough. Let's turn this off. Turn this off. Got our cold driblet of water there. That's nice and cool. Got our radiator. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Okay, this pipe can come out. Uh-oh, it's going backwards. In, out. Uh, <laughs> I've got to get rid of this pipe here. Now a little bit's gonna fall out, that's okay. Oh, I always do that. Oh, crap. <laughs> I removed the bridge by mistake. Let's try that again. Remove the pipe this time. Okay, let's go. <laughs> do some oh, I'll leave that there, it's not hurting anything. Or is that going to fall down in there? That's fine. Okay, build the bridge. That's in a big ass loop right now. <laughs> but they're all sleeping. Come on. Then we'll take out this pipe. There we go. Now we can empty this pipe. Safely. Oh, that's still gonna branch. <laughs> God, let's just get rid of it. Nick it there. It should suck it out of there. There we go. Empty pipe. Priority 9. Get that out of there. Okay. That looks good. Now we want it to branch and go through this loop first for cooling, so we gotta take out... Where's that gonna fall? Down there, that's fine. Get rid of that. Get... That's actually enough, that one, that one tile. One tube, that one pipe. Okay, now we can do this. Priority nine. 
There we go. Okay, so this is coming down. This should be really be insulated. It's coming through here. It's going to cool down this area. Go back up here and then the heat's going to get destroyed. We might as well mop this up. Okay. Now our oil pipe. And then we'll be done, I think. Piping, insulated, priority nine, igneous rock. Do a bridge. Slate it again into there, and the petroleum will come out hot 75 degree petroleum. So, we want to use insulated on that side as well. And really, you should probably use some holding tanks here. Let's see. liquid reservoir Put one of those in there that's just to buffer things and then put it in here put it out here okay they're having fun mopping that look at that jeez let's try uh, mopping the top before we mop the bottom Oh, they're terrible at mopping. Okay, that's mopped. That's going in. And I'm gonna put a petroleum generator in for now, just to use up the petroleum. Because he had one before. Petroleum generator. Stick one right here. Heavy watt wire. We're running out of gold. <laughs> Let's turn the gold refining refining off. <laughs> Probably have way too much now. Might have used up too much gold amalgam. But later on we could go replace these heavy watt wires with something else. Hook this up. Send that petroleum up. That has to be insulated because it's going to be really hot. Go in there. Put a bridge. If I can build one. Click, click. There we go. That should be on a smart battery. A different smart battery. Stick that right there. Some people ask me, like, they said, uh, don't just talk about stuff, actually build stuff. But it takes a while for dupes to actually build stuff. As you can probably tell. coming up. Let's see if I did that all correctly. That's in, that's out. Oh. Really. Didn't quite finish it.
Okay, we'll set this battery to be... We'll make this... Uh, we'll make this primary power. And we'll make the coal secondary. Something like that. Here comes the oil at 47 degrees. Got petroleum coming through into the petroleum generator. And that polluted water will just drip down to this tank and we'll deal with it at some point. This thing gets pretty hot, so. But we need some wheeze warts in here. Or we could. We could extend that cooling loop across this. That's what we should really do. And cool the whole area. So we need to vent CO2 out of here. I'd probably put a pump at the bottom to detect CO2. Or actually, I would just remove all the gas from the bottom here. Send it down to the slicksters. Probably already have a CO2 line going down there. Yep, yeah, we're just tying to that. Oh, it's from here. Okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. What's this line doing? Not sure. But yeah, grab the CO2, send it down. Grab the water and use it for useful purposes. Probably just... Uh, send it through a sieve and tie into our main oxygen production. But let's, just before we finish, let's do this cooling loop properly. So we'll do a radiant, like a radiant pipe across here. How much gold do we have? 50. We'll do one across here. And then we'll come across here. We'll take out everything in between. That'll cool down that area pretty nicely. We got natural gas building up in here. That's fine. We put a pump with a filter and send that up to a natural gas generator. I'd probably do a natural gas generator right here beside the other one. That was gold, right? No, let's do that out of gold. <laughs> so we had one of these before. Set that there. That's just to burn off any natural gas that builds up in here, which is happening slowly. And we'd probably put the plastic back in here, right here. Leave some water on the floor to cool it. Maybe put some more Weezworts in. Okay, here we go. Here's our cooling. 20 degree water. Passing over all this. Coming back out at 23. It's not really cooling much. It will though. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Nice. Look at that cooling in action. Perfect. Great. And then all that heat gets destroyed the minute it hits the sieve here. Should probably hook up our last bit of power here. Hook this up to here. And probably extend it through to another smart battery. Here. Now they can't work on this very long because there's no oxygen in here. So an exosuit dock going into this area might make sense. One's probably enough. Let's hook up that smart battery.
So just to finish this off, we would do gas pump. Maybe right here. Gas pump. Gas filter. Use insulated. I always use insulated for everything. That goes in there. Natural gas will be selected output. Goes in here. Everything else can go right here. And then the CO2 has to come out and go somewhere. I'd probably bring that. That's igneous. Yeah, uh, bring that around. Straight down here and send it off to the slicksters down at the bottom. I won't finish it off, but... Just the power, though. Heavy watt wire for all our power grid stuff. Put some automation. Oh, that's already on there. Set that to, I don't know, 1500. So we don't burn natural gas all the time. In fact, we could dump the CO2 down here. And it would make its way down. Eventually. If we open this up a bit. We did something like that. And then vented the CO2. We should probably take the pipe all the way down, though. So I would do something like this. What is this pipe for? Let's just see. That's hydrogen. Okay. Yes, rock. Go this way. And then tie in, because that's the old CO2 line. In fact, we can just do that right away. Take that piece out. And we're done. Pretty much. Bridge. That's all party nine. I should get to that. Look at them go across these ladders. Yikes. <laughs> oh, we're out of igneous rock. Okay. Have to go mine some igneous rock. Let's do that right here. It's everywhere. So much of it. Get some algae too. But this area will stay cool now, because this cold polluted water will always be flowing across it. It's like natural gas. This episode's already getting too long, so I'll wrap things up here, but... What I would do next, we got our CO2 coming out, put plastic in here, send the CO2 from it down there. Put a, maybe a pump in here that sends CO2 down here as well. That'll feed our slicksters. And then we'll have to deal with this water because petroleum generator is making water. Natural gas generator will make water, it'll dribble over here and then we'd probably just sieve it or... Yeah, I'd probably just sieve it in and connect it into this oxygen making line. We could also be using this. It's not being used right now. But I addressed his problems. Monkey, I hope you're happy with what I did. Hope you all enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.